Hi, my name is Giovanna Campos, and I'm going to be doing my presentation on how deforestation contributes to global warming. So first, let's talk about what is global warming. Global warming is a gradual increase in the overall temperature of Earth's atmosphere, generally attributed to the greenhouse effect caused by increased levels of carbon dioxide, chlorofluorocarbons, and other pollutants. Now, what is the greenhouse effect? The greenhouse effect is the way in which heat is trapped close to the surface of the earth by the greenhouse gases. The greenhouse gases are gases in Earth's atmosphere that trap heat. They let sunlight pass through the atmosphere, but they prevent the heat that the sunlight brings from leaving the atmosphere. The main greenhouse gases are water vapor, which is water in gas form, which forms clouds and rains back onto the earth, causing a cooling effect. Carbon dioxide, which is made up of carbon and oxygen, it comes from decaying and living organisms and from volcanoes. Methane, which is made up of carbon and hydrogen, it's a normal gas released from wetlands, growing rice, and mining coal. Ozone, which is up in the atmosphere where planes fly, the ozone layer blocks the sun's radiation, which helps protect us from damaging rays. Nitrous oxide, which is a natural part of the nitrogen cycle, and chlorofluorocarbons, which are fluorinated gases that are not created in nature and they damage the protective ozone layer. Overall, greenhouse gases are a good thing. Without them, our planet would be too cold and life would not exist. But scientists are worried that human activities are adding too much of these gases into the atmosphere, which is not good for our planet. Now let's talk about deforestation. What is deforestation? Deforestation is the permanent removal of trees to make room for something besides forests. This can include clearing the land for agriculture or grazing, or using the timber for fuel, construction, or manufacturing. About 3.9 million square miles of forest have been lost due to deforestation. As you can see here, the original amount of forest cover is represented by the lighter green color, and the current forest cover is represented by the darker green. In places like Africa and Europe, you can see a gradual decrease in forest matter. Carbon dioxide emissions from deforestation exceeds that from all the world's trucks and cars. Conserving forests is critical because deforestation is a triple threat. One, we lose our best weapon at keeping excess carbon out of the atmosphere. Two, more emissions enter the atmosphere because felled trees release their stored carbon when they are burned to make way for industrial scale agriculture. And finally, Three, what most often replace the now vanished forest is livestock and crops like palm oil, which emit large amounts of even more greenhouse gases. Undoing photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process that captures the atmospheric carbon in the form of plant material. Deforestation releases carbon back into the atmosphere and reduces the amount of plant matter that can absorb carbon from the atmosphere, and too much carbon for our planet is not a good thing. Forests are known as carbon sinks because trees absorb carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen, which we need to survive. Humans rely on a healthy forest ecosystem to be able to inhale clean oxygen, and trees rely on a healthy forest ecosystem to thrive and protect themselves from danger. Not only is climate change impacting human health, but it is also affecting the ecosystem of our oceans and forests. Human-initiated deforestation contributes to climate change by reducing the number of trees that are available to soak up carbon dioxide. Deforestation not only impacts the trees that are being cut down, but also impacts the trees that are still alive by disrupting the network that is important for tree-to-tree -tree communication, upsetting the balance of the ecosystem. Here on the left, you can see a natural relationship among the trees. They absorb the carbon dioxide and it travels down their trunks as carbon and gets distributed throughout their roots. On the right, after deforestation, there is insufficient carbon for surrounding trees to keep thriving. Now let's talk about some solutions to deforestation. Developing alternatives for deforestation can help decrease the need for tree clearing. For example, the desire to expand the amount of land used for agriculture is an appealing reason to deforest an area. But if people adopted sustainable farming practices or employed new farming technologies and crops, the need for more land might be reduced. Forests can also be restored through replanting trees in cleared areas and creating sanctuaries, allowing the forest ecosystem to regenerate over time. The goal of restoration is to return the forest to its original state before it was cleared. 